and Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Hello and welcome to TCM, everyone. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Happy New Year. We're continuing our New Year's Day marathon of Marx Brothers comedies. Up next, we have one of the brothers' best love movies. It's from 1935, A Night at the Opera. After spending the first part of their movie-making careers with Paramount, the studio canceled the brothers' contract after the critical and financial failure of 1933's Duck Soup, ironically, a film now considered their masterpiece. So the boys were without a studio. But as luck would have it, Chico had become friends with MGM production head Irving Thalberg. Thalberg eventually took a lunch meeting with the brothers and later signed them to an MGM deal. Our film is the first they made for their new bosses. The story is about an opera company sailing from Italy to New York, but that plot is really little more than an excuse for the Marx Brothers to do what they did best, create comedy chaos. If you're not all that familiar with the Marx Brothers, if you haven't seen many of their movies, this is a great introduction because it contains most of the key ingredients. There's plenty of snappy dialogue from everyone except Harpo, of course, he's the brother who never speaks, and a steady stream of laugh-out-loud one-liners, usually from the mouth of Groucho and directed at as many foils, including stuffy society lady Margaret Dumont, who appeared in nearly all of their movies. You'll also get to see what has become known as the stateroom scene, where dozens of passengers aboard an ocean liner all find themselves squeezed into one tiny room. It is remembered today as one of their best scenes from 1935, also featuring Alan Jones, Kitty Carlisle, and Sig Ruman. Here are Groucho, Chico, and Harpo in A Night at the Opera. <laughs> 